Hey everybody, it's Daily Tastings Alsace Wine Week and this is my buying guide tasting. I'm actually taking you behind the scenes to show you how I do it. Normally I blind taste the benchmark wines and the new candidates at home, but since I'm here in Alsace, I'm going to do that right here with some of my favorites as well as other ones that have been recommended to me as candidates for the top 10. Now, the way I always do it is of course I have a great glass, a spittoon's a big deal, and then I make sure that they're blind. When you blind the bottles, you really have to do a better job than John did. He was helping me with this one. But sometimes I recognize the tops or even the shape, so I gotta make it fair. I'm ready to take my notes, and I always taste with food because I think food friendliness matters. Some were awesome. Some, not so much. Just kidding. Actually, by the time the wines get to this point, they're all good. So I found my favorites. I've already started unveiling. This is Hugel Riesling. It's a classic, great value. Oh wow, Albert Boxler is a tiny producer, like Kreidenweiss. Everybody who's a sommelier really loves this wine. I still don't know what to choose. For some of my picks, I went to the winery to get the winemaker's thoughts, starting with an amazing meal at Weinbach with the iconic Colette Fowler. Le Riesling. Riesling, le the king. Riesling, le plus beau cépage blanc au monde. Okay, the most oh, wow. incredible white wine grape in the world, ah, oui, voilà. a Je suis d'accord. I ah, agree. Ah, and when it's Grand Cru, this is a wine that's going to blow your mind. This is a Schlossberg, and you get incredible minerality and almost a smoky, slaty quality. Mm. Floral on the nose, very mineral, very supple, incredible acidity. It's like a lively firecracker of a wine in your mouth. Des Riesling, euh, comment je veux dire, sec, des vendanges tardives et des Grenobles. Wow, so they make Riesling that's dry style, late harvest called Vendange Tardive, and also the Botrytis style, Selection de Grand Noble. Voilà. Wow. Voilà. Si on a un climat et des terroirs merveilleux, justement, qui nous permet de faire des vins secs et des grands licoreux. So they're very lucky to have the perfect climate to be able to make great world-class dry wine as well as sweet wine. To see my tasting notes on the Weinbach Riesling, go to my buying guide channel or download my mobile app. I could actually do a whole book on just the Alsace wines and they'd all be in the tops because these are some of the best wines in the world, both just to taste and with food. Get your friends together and taste these wines together because the signature style of Domaine Weinbach is something that you'll be talking about and reminding each other of for weeks or months or years. It's round, it's supple, it's rich, but always with that great acidity and minerality that makes Alsace wines last forever and match so beautifully with food. Be sure to check out some of my other Alsace buying guide selections like the Zind Humbrecht Riesling. I went to the winery to get Olivier Humbrecht's thoughts on this great wine. This is their Riesling AC or Contrelay and it's just perfectly laser pure, mm. crisp apples, great minerality, the acidity that you expect in Alsace wine. It's a perfect expression of classic super dry Riesling. I learned to appreciate a lot the, the, the crystal purity of dry Rieslings and that's something that takes a bit of a time to, to get to and I have to say in the, in the past uh, sort of 10 years I, uh, my palate also went towards this style of wine. 20 bucks broadly available, great jumping off point for Alsace wines, well worth it. That's it, daily tastings, Alsace wines, my buying guide tasting. Stay with us for more Alsace.